My FabFitFun box for winter 2024 has arrived today and this is in collaboration with FabFitFun. If you're not familiar with FabFitFun, it is a subscription box and you can choose to do either seasonal, so spring, summer, fall, winter, or annual. You do get perks to annual membership, which you do pay more upfront or you can just pay per season. Like let's say you just want one season and I do have some codes down below if you're a first time subscriber. And you basically get six full size items in categories like beauty, fitness, health, wellness, all of that. Some of them might be from brands that you know and love. Some of them might be from brands you've never heard of before but you kind of are getting exposed to and you get them for a really good price. When you first sign up, your seasonal box can cost you as low as $55. Some of the items in here are already just one single item will cost more than $55 so you're already saving there and then also there's the benefits of getting discounted items that you can add on to your box whenever the window opens for you add it on that's kind of the gist of it of how it works a lot of people are familiar with it some people not so much my sister actually tried it for the first time this season she got everything that she wanted and she also got some freebies in her box which was nice so yeah let's let's open this guy up I am so excited for the holiday season it is literally my favorite time of year. I live for the Christmas season, you guys. Oh, they're so pretty. Happiest holidays. Obviously, the first thing that you can see is the unhide blanket here. I got mine in emerald green. It also comes in chocolate. This is part of category one. Category one actually had quite a few great choices. So when you subscribe, you have six categories, like I said, and each category has multiple items in that category and you choose the item that you want. It's not guaranteed, like if it sells out, it's not guaranteed. This is why you have the perks of being an annual member, you get early access. When I try the seasonal box during the fall time, there were some things that when my seasonal window opened to add stuff to my box, some stuff was already sold out, so I didn't get to choose those items. So there are perks to being an annual member plus you save on the cost of the box itself and if you want to add on certain things in the category it will cost you much less than actually buying it at MSRP so let's say I really wanted the I think hourglass had some blush sticks for category one because they did like little sneak peeks let's say I wanted this plus the blush sticks I can add the blush sticks as long as they're available to my first category as an add-on at an extra charge I think for the first category it's like $15 per item that you add on I think for categories two, it's like $12 and it gets lower and lower as the categories move on. But I chose this as my first option and I do have the Sunday Citizen blanket here from the fall box and I love how soft it is. It's like barefoot dreams, but I was kind of disappointed with the quality, honestly. I don't know why mine looks like this. Like we use it all the time, but it's not like we abused it. Like my kids and I, we use it and then it also has a hole in it, which you know, whatever. I got this for free sent to me as part of the collaboration but if I did get it as part of my box I'd be a little bit disappointed in the quality I'm sure if I reached out as a customer we'd be able to work through it so I will be honest I was disappointed in that and there were a few other things that I was disappointed in in the past like there was an ankle bracelet that had a really high retail value but it ended up tarnishing and I know that Ana Luisa is one of the necklaces for category one I actually have a lot of Ana Luisa pieces because I collaborated with them multiple times in the past I have loved working with them they're one of the best brands to work with their necklaces I absolutely loved and didn't have any issues with like I would shower with them sleep with them and their earrings their earrings were probably my favorite the only thing I wouldn't get from them probably is like ring and bracelets they're kind of like hit or miss but their necklaces I did like if you like gold jewelry I did think that Ana Luisa was worth it but at the end of the day I was looking for something different so let's open this up is this like to clasp it if you wanted to wear it around your shoulders it is isn't it oh my gosh it has such a good weight to it yeah I think you can like ride around walk around have a cup of coffee this would be amazing amazing to sit outside in and during the colder colder days you just literally put this over you it is so cozy Go outside with your cup of coffee and just like sit on the porch and enjoy the fresh air. Cold fresh air, but you won't be cold because you have this blanket, so you'll be cozy. Love this. I feel like this is definitely a better blanket than the Sunday Citizen one. That one was disappointing, but this one, I'm so happy that I chose. I love it. I love it. I love the color. I think it is absolutely, look at this. I mean, it is gorgeous. For category two, you had some kitchen items, an eye mask, a hat, like a makeup palette, some bowls. So I originally wanted to get the bowls. They were like little sage green like a light green mint green I just have like five different colors in one sentence they're like a mint green color and they're like little bowls that you can use as measuring cups but also use them to put berries in nuts and whatever and leave them out I ended up getting this instead these are the mini round ceramic coquette sets they're like little mini Dutch ovens 
and I love stuff like this. I love, love, love soups during the colder months. And so to me, this would be something that I felt like I would get the most use out of. And it comes in a white, then this beautiful green. They're so cute. I'm sure they are oven safe. Yeah, oven safe up to 475. Do not use over open flame or on stove top. I will definitely, definitely get use out of this. Like for sure, for sure. But if you don't like this, don't worry. There are other things that you can chew. For category three, I chose this bracelet here. Honestly, for category three, I really struggle. I felt like the honey jar, I can get something cheaper on Amazon. For the other items, I was like, okay, I'm probably not gonna use it. I was on the fence about the Paracone MD. I think it was like an eye cream, just because of the price. My sister would probably pick that one, but at the end of the day, I was like, I don't know. I felt like for me personally, this was something that I wanted. I love that it looks like a little tennis bracelet, and I was actually eyeing one from Vince Camuto on Amazon. It has this tie in the back that you can tighten, which I thought was really pretty. I think this would be such a beautiful piece to add if you have like a holiday party, you have a dress on. This is like the perfect dainty little bit of something. I just hope it stands the test of time. That's the most important thing. So that's what I got for category three. For customization four, I chose these Patchology eye masks because I actually love, love, love the brand Patchology. They have these bubbly ones, Chardonnay type ones that you can, I like to keep in the refrigerator. And when you place them on, like I wake up in the morning, brush my teeth, walk over here, take them out of the fridge, put them on, make your morning coffee. And it's just such a great self-care moment. For customization five, they had like a matcha powder, some towelettes, a roller. They had like a black bow from We Wore What, but I got one from H&M instead. They had matcha powder, strawberry matcha powder. Almost got that, but then I'm like, I already have a matcha powder brand that I love. And then the Chili Crisp, that Chili Crisp is 100% worth it. Like if you love Chili Crisp, it is worth it, but I felt like I can also just buy that at the grocery store. So I opted not to make that part of my customization. So instead, this is probably the category I struggled with the most. I chose these right here, the Wander Beauty sponge set. So Wander Beauty also has eye patches. They're like gold foil. They have gold foil and rose gold. Hands down, the best eye patches. I'm sorry, Patchology, but they are definitely my favorite. Patchology comes in second out of all the ones that I personally tried. But I do use this every single day in my makeup routine. It's always nice to have backups. So I figured, why not? So you have two sponges and two little sponge poofs. I love this color, by the way, but I'll test them out and I'll see. And then these two little poofs, which are great for doing a pressed powder. And it's always good to have backups on these. These are a little different from other ones I've tried. And also it has a little cleaning pad, which is always really, really nice to have. And I actually like this one because I usually hold my cleaning pad under the sink and scrub it. And this just is so much easier. Okay, and then for the last customization, customization six, they had some socks. I'm seeing like a wine cooler, some makeup -y products. This one was also for me, like, I don't know. But as soon as I saw this and read about it, I was like, this is perfect. So this is a Rejuvia Oral Sleep Spray and it is Midnight Bliss. It's a dietary supplement. This actually has melatonin in it. You spray it underneath your tongue or inside of the cheek. My bad. During that time of the month, I deal with major insomnia. So I like to drink a Celestial Seasonings tea that has one milligram of melatonin in it. It also has chamomile and other things. I found that taking anything more than one milligram for me, I wake up groggy in the morning and then I get like nightmares sometimes. So I don't love anything that's too strong. So this to me is like 100% something that I would use and I cannot wait to use it and try it out. Overall, I am very happy with my box. Even just like this blanket here retails for $49, I believe. I think it depends which one you get. So that alone covers almost the entire cost of the box and when you add up everything, you're definitely getting your money's worth. If you don't like something, then you can get credit and just apply it towards the next box. I feel like for the holiday season, the items you can gift to someone if you didn't like them because you don't always need all of this extra stuff. Like some people, that's their complaint. They feel like it's just too much. I could very easily gift these. The blanket would make a really great gift. But overall, I'm very grateful that they reached out to work with me once again. I hope me sharing this video helped you solidify your choices. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in future videos.